Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here. And today I just want to give you a quick review of two new ideas, which is um, Mucho Poco and Ganga Robo. I am in your OneNote, chapter eight, and the page is Mucho Poco, Ganga Robo. So the first part is just practicing your numbers. So please complete this section. It's just a quick review um, prior to the quiz on Friday. Now let's read through these pink notes together. Adjectives describing how much or how many come before the noun they describe. They must agree in both gender and number. We see this with the question word quantos. Quantos has four forms, quanto, quanta, quantos, quantas. It changes based on what item you are asking about. Quantas sandalias tienes. So here you can see, let me eliminate the table of contents. Quantas matches sandalias. Quantos platos necesitas para la fiesta? Quantos platos, and they match. This is also true when you want to talk about a general quantity. So if you have a lot, you would say mucho. Okay, so this is a lot general quantity. If you have a little, you are going to say poco. Okay, please note that these are quantities. Some of you confuse mucho with muy. Muy is an, goes before an adjective or an adverb, and it means very. It's a qualifier, not a quantity. Okay, so this one is qualifier. These are quantities. Mucho has four forms. Mucho, mucha, muchos, muchas. Example, mucho dinero, muchas camisetas. Poco also has four forms. Poco, poca, pocos, pocas. Example, poca experiencia, pocas frutas. Okay, a lot of money, a lot of t-shirts, a little bit of experience, a few or a small quantity of fruits. Now let's learn two more phrases, ganga y robo. Okay, I always remember the gang gets a good deal. So ganga, whoops, ganga means good deal. Okay, let me write that better. Ganga means good deal. Okay, es una ganga. That's a ripoff, it robbed me. That's how we remember that ripoff is robo. Es un robo. It's a ripoff. So I want you to practice mucho and poco and ganga and robo by reading the prices here. And then you have to do one of the first two columns checked and a checkbox in one of the two second columns. So it's either mucho dinero or poco dinero. And then it's either una ganga or un robo. Let's look at the first one. La camiseta cuesta 110 dólares. So you do have to know what this is to figure out if that is a lot of money. And then there is the price, 110 dólares. 110 dólares para una camiseta es mucho dinero. Es un robo. Okay, so you have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. You have five of them to complete on your own. And all you're doing is checking one of the first two boxes and one of the last two boxes. Okay, guys, again, mucho poco, ganga robo. That's your focus on this page. Gracias.